Hey guys, and welcome to my next Let's Play project, something that has been highly requested since it came out, and it's not hard to see why. This game is pretty much one of the best Harvest Moon games I've played in a long time. But anyways, it's not Harvest Moon. Welcome to Let's Play Stardew Valley. I accidentally clicked through that. Oh well. Anyway, Stardew Valley. This was an indie game that kind of, it didn't really come out of nowhere, but it got hugely popular just because it's a very good and well-designed game that's based around farming, which is why I am covering it, because that's kind of my thing now. Anyways, let's get started. Alright, so first things first, we need to make ourselves, uh, let's go with my name, farm name. I didn't think of this beforehand, you know what, let's go with Harvest, that is kind of where this series, this game came from, let's be honest. Harvest Moon was a huge inspiration, and favorite thing. Let's just go... There we go. Uh, I want a dog. I'm a very, I'm very much a dog person. Cats are okay, but I love dogs. Alright, so... This is us. Let's redesign ourselves a bit. So we have a bunch of different options. Uh, let's see. I would say that's closer to my normal skin tone. Although there are some really weird options, like blue. Or yellow. Actually, yellow's not that... Actually, that kind of looks relatively normal. That's definitely not normal. People aren't purple. Or green. But anyways, let's go back to, I think it was skin 2. There we go. Alright, hair. There's a lot of hair options. And they are not gender specific, so we could use the female hair options. Hmm. That one kinda looks like my hair. Oh, we're getting to the female options. Let's see... Was that Leia? That's Princess Leia hair. Uh, no. What hair was it that I was looking at? That actually kind of looks more like my hair than the others. Although my hair is a bit more curly. And we'll go with that. Hair color... Let's just stick with... Yeah, let's go with black. Eye color, you can't really see it, but it's brown. And more importantly, a shirt. There are a ton of shirts. There's like over a hundred shirts. So this one might take a while to go through. Hmm. What do I want to wear around the farm? We could go with the Link tunic. Black shirt. I think I might just go with something more basic that isn't gimmicky. Because I think, let's see. We could go with the mouse shirt, but for some reason, it always looks weird from the front. Overalls are always a good choice. Uh, that kind of looks like Mario. That's actually what I'm wearing on my other file right now. My main file on Farm Farm. Ooh, a ghost shirt. Alright, let's go with what the... That shirt just looks weird to me for some reason. But yeah, we can actually change this later. Much later. So not right away. Let's go with... Let's go with that shirt. And accessories, a beard. Is there glasses? I think there's glasses. Uh, but they kind of look... They look weird. Let's not go with glasses. Although those don't look too bad. Kind of weird you can't see his eyes behind them, though. <laughs> we could go with the future monocle. Or we could just go with the scarf. Scarf always works. Or the duck mask. Let's go with the scarf. Uh, where'd it go? There it is. It's kind of like a bandana. Alright, we're not going to skip the intro, so I think we're good. Let's get started. And like very classic Harvest Moon, it begins with a Grandpa. I'm listening. Unfortunately, the game in windowed mode does cut off at the edges, uh, at the beginning. Nothing I can really do about that. That probably describes a lot of the working, uh, class right now. 
Just a long life. Oh, Joja, get ready to hear that name a lot. But anyways, this is where we work. What do you think this game would be about farming, silly? I love that guy, I don't know why. But there we are. For some reason we wore a scarf to work. But yeah, doesn't look very happy, or we don't look very happy, do we? I think it's time to open the letter. And it looks like Grandpa left us his farm to go live at. And I think we're gonna do that. And we should probably meet with this Lewis too. So, time to leave our old life behind and move out to the farm. All the way out in Stardew Valley. Fortunately, it's just a quick bus ride away. Actually, I'm not even sure if it's that quick. Still, it's a very pretty place. And looks like we're almost there. Hi, birdie! Oh, there's our mouse cursor. Alright, hi Robin. She is our carpenter. We will be meeting up with her a lot later. But right now, it's time to go see our new farm. It's a bit run down and needs some work, but... I'm sure with a bit of hard work, we can actually work with this. Still, this place does need quite a bit of work. Where do all these rocks even come from? Oh, well, I accidentally clicked through that. He was just saying hello. Anyways, this is Lewis. Uh, Pelican, Pelican Town is right next door to us. We'll be sure to go look at that later. Also, Grandpa's letter mentioned to Lewis. Just how old are you, Lewis? That's one way of putting it. Also, how good of a farmer was Grandpa if this is the only thing left of the farm? I don't know. I could use a house upgrade. This place isn't exactly the biggest. And we will do just that. There's a lot of townspeople we're going to need to meet. And yeah, every night, uh, that's the collection box. Whatever you get put it, whatever gets put in there gets sold. <laughs> and every time you go to bed, it you go to sleep. Anyways, welcome to Harvest Farm. I almost called it Farm Farm because I'm so used to that. Uh, so anyways, before we do anything, this is our menu. I'm going to go into options real quick and make sure everything's turned on. I want to turn that on. And most importantly, I want to turn the zoom out to about 85. Just so we don't have clipping errors around the edges of the screen. Plus it gives us a better view. So anyways, this is our house. Up here is where our time is. Time does not stop while you're indoors in this game. So we should probably not hang around too often. Uh, let's see what's on TV. So, TV. First things first. Weather. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. No big surprise there. Uh, fortune teller? 
this pretty much just tells you how lucky you are going to be that day, so it's like, a way to check the random number generator. So today we're going to be lucky about finding stuff. I'm okay with this. And then we have our traditional tutorials. That is actually very good advice. Also, we have presents. Parsnip seeds. We'll get those planted later. So also over here is our journal. Uh, these are basically like mini side quests we can do for people. So let's see. One side quest is to talk to all 28 people. We've already met two of them. Which we can check out right here. That is not where we check it out. There we go. So yeah, these are all of the villagers in town. Right now we've only met Lewis and Robin. Also this little icon. We can only give people two gifts per week. Unlike a traditional Harvest Moon. So it's better to make those gifts count. Alright, and we also got parsnip seeds. This is our inventory right now. It's not that big, but it's bigger than what the old games gave us. Alright, so that's enough wandering around the house. Let's go outside, because we have some work ahead of us. Alright, first things first. I want to clear out some space for seeds. So you're not limited to 3x3 three three squares in this game, but honestly, I just like doing that anyways. So yeah, axe breaks... Uh, what are these? Are they? They're not really logs, they're kind of like twigs. Also, with the axe, you can immediately cut down trees. And we're going to, because we're going to need the wood. Wood is very important in this game, and we want as much of it as possible. Also, this game does have crafting, but we can't really make anything good. I want to make a chest as soon as possible so I can get some inventory space. Oh, and there's our map. There's our farm. It's actually really big in this game. Uh, there's a lot of empty space though. Once we start getting some structures, we can start filling it out. But right now, most of it is overgrown and we can't really use it. That's a uh, Pelican Town. That's Joja Mart. Where we don't go there. But anyways, we'll explore the town later. Right now, I kind of want to get these seeds planted before we do anything else. Oh, what's our other quest? Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. That seems easy enough. Also, for the most part in this game, uh, crops don't have collision detection, so you can walk all over them and not actually have to worry about that, which is good. So, how many seeds do we have? That's enough for... Let's see, what's a 5x5 five five is 25? Let's start off with like a 3x3. Three three. Let's start down here. So yeah, in order to plant seeds, it's pretty normal. You uh, first till the ground with a hoe, then... If I had fertilizer, I would apply it, but we can't make that quite yet. Put down the seeds. We still have six more. You know what? Let's maximize our room for now. I always love sticking by three by three, just because that's how I'm programmed, basically. Makes me sound like a robot. And then let's water them. But for now, uh, all these are going to come in at the same time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Right now, what matters to me is getting some wood and making some money. There we go. Alright, so let's clear out the farm a bit more before we go out into town. I want to get enough wood to make a chest before I do anything else, because right now our inventory is almost completely full already. Inventory space is going to be very valuable in this game. Also, let's break some rocks. And when you break rocks, you get stone, which it can be used to build stuff. Actually, I think we can build some paths already. I personally prefer cobblestone paths over wood paths just because they look better. Although there is something to be said about wood. But yeah, our farm is completely customizable. We can design it however we want. Personally, I like to like dedicate this huge area over here to crops. And then like animals are down to the south some more. But that's just me. But yeah, I think I'm going to make some paths. Uh, not enough wood for a chest yet. Let's make some stone paths. And then let's just lay them down, like, right in front of the house. Actually, can we put them right there? We can. Hmm. I kind of wish I'd planted that one square up. Oh, well. I'll experiment and probably pre-design my farm later. Also, we have our energy gauge down here. If it ever goes down to empty, we don't pass out, but the next day... Well, actually, it starts draining health instead. Because we do have a health bar. Which we can't really see right now. But pretty much we don't want to pass out, otherwise we'll have to pay money and probably lose some items in our backpack. 
Also, I think I just dropped some stuff in the lake there. Actually, that's a pond. That's where we pretty much just get the water for the watering can. So I want 50 wood. Let's get down some trees. Once we upgrade our axe some more, this is going to be a lot easier. Right now, though, yeah, it's going to take quite a few swings and a lot of energy. I might want to eat something soon. All right, that's enough wood to make a chest. Uh, let's just keep a row of chests, like, right over here. This is where we can store some stuff. I'm going to put uh, pretty much everything I don't need away. I also don't need all my tools, but I kind of want to keep them just in case I want to clear out some more areas. Actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna move the path down here so I can might like, have like a row of storage. To pick stuff up, you pretty much just hit it with your pickaxe to make a break. It's very much Terraria Minecrafty in that sort of way. All right, that'll do for now. Anyways, it's noon. Let's head to town. We can explore the area a bit. So this is the path to town. Uh, up here is the bus stop. Unfortunately, we can't use the bus right now because it is broken. Apparently, right after picking us up, it broke down. That's just great. Anyways, you also kind of want to pick up everything you see. Not only for the fact that there are items you can sell and eat, but uh, in this game, we do have skills that we can build up. As you do these sorts of things, uh, you pretty much get bonuses. Like, these ones are the big bonuses I'll get to later. And foraging is one of them. That's broken right now. That's going to be a theme you'll see in this game. A lot of stuff at the beginning is broken and unusable. But anyways, this is Pelican Town. It's not very big, but it's nice and cozy. Uh, that's the doctor's office. Let's go check them out. Except I don't think the doctor is in right now. Never mind, we'll come back later. Uh, over here is the general store. That's a calendar. For some reason, we don't get a calendar in our house immediately. So let's see, we can see birthdays and events on here. So the egg festival is on the 13th. I need to remember to save up money for that. Shane's birthday. These are all people we'll meet later. Like this lady. This is Abigail. She is, I believe, the son of Pierre who owns Pierre's. Or not son, daughter. Also, it sounds like she's kind of disappointed that we took over the farm. Also, she is a bachelorette in this game. Anyways, let's see what's in here. I hear my phone ringing. Let's ignore that. This is Leia. She lives in town. She lives, basically, she actually lives down here. Right next to our farm, actually. She doesn't live that far away. Carolyn is the wife of the store owner. Yep. And yeah, Abigail is her daughter. Judging by the hair colors in this game, I'm wondering if the purple in the hair is natural. Anyways, we're going to be shopping a lot here. This is pretty much where we're going to buy all of our seeds. Technically, we could also do it over at uh, Joja Mart. But that would be bad, because that's Joja Mart. We worked for them earlier. We don't want to support them in any way. So, we could get some more crops here. Question problem is, uh, I don't have that much money yet. But buying seeds would be a good way to get money. So, I want to buy... Let's buy... Uh, can I afford this? How many potato seeds can I afford? I don't think I need to save up money for anything, so let's buy nine of those. And let's talk to Pierre. So yeah, you can also come here and sell everything you don't want to sell through your box. Which is handy for some quick cash. And there's a backpack upgrade. It's 2,000 gold. We cannot afford that right now. We will later, though. Oh, we definitely will later. Let's explore the rest of the town. Uh, over here is the saloon. This is pretty much where everyone comes at night to hang out. It's a really good place to socialize in this game. And this is the owner. His name is Gus. He's already friendly with us. But yeah, right now, nobody's really our friend. Which makes sense, considering we've been here for like, uh, let's see, we arrived at around... We actually arrived yesterday, but we've been active for like, eight hours. I could do that, but no, we're gonna call you Evelyn. 
Um, let's also go check out Evelyn's house. I am still not sure if this has to do with anything. I have never seen a dog in there. Well, he's technically in there. This is George. He's grumpy. We can befriend him. Actually, I want, kind of want to get started befriending everyone. And yeah, in this game, you can't go into people's rooms without their permission. Unless you have at least, I think, two hearts with them, they won't let you in. Anyways, you got a trailer over here. Oh, wait. This is Maru. She is uh, Robin's daughter, I believe. Also, she is another bachelorette we could woo. We can also woo Leia. I think I might go after Leia this run. This is Penny. Whoops. She lives in this trailer with her mom. She's also the local teacher, basically. And that's actually who I married in my main run on a farm farm. I like Penny. She's nice. Alright, so this is the mayor's house, I believe. Yep, uh, he's not here right now, though. He lives in a pretty nice ho uh, house, though. Alright, oh, it's almost four already. Time goes by really quickly in this game compared to, like, uh, other Harvest Moon games. It's important to get every minute, to make every minute count, basically. So up here, we have the blacksmith. This is where we come to uh, upgrade tools, buy stuff, stuff we can't afford right now. And we can also come here and break stuff like geodes, which will find the field. But we don't have any right now. Also, his name is Clint. How many people have we met? We've met about 12. All right, next we want to head over here. This is the museum. Gunther, surprisingly, we can't befriend him. He is technically not a villager because he never leaves this building. But yeah, this is the library slash museum. If we find the artifacts, we can donate them here and we'll get rewards for them as we donate more artifacts. Actually, some of the best stuff in the game comes from donating stuff to the museum, so we're going to do that. Also, they kind of lost most of their books. And by most of their books, I mean all of their books. Except for, like, this one, which I can't read for some reason. We'll have to keep our eye out for those, too. And RA430. There's still some more stuff in the town I need to show off, but I think I might uh, finish that off tomorrow. Let's just keep exploring, though. Down here is the beach. Also, hi, Lewis. Kind of drafty. Yep, this is Elliot. He's an artist. He also lives down here. Also, he is a, a, a wooable bachelor, I believe. Yep. Thing about this game is that same-sex marriage is a thing you can do. So it doesn't matter who you woo. You can marry either a male or a female. Also, these are worms. Actually, according to the developer, they're supposed to be twigs. But uh, twigs don't move. Just saying. But every time you see them, you want to use your hoe. Because that means there is something hidden under there. Also, I'm just grabbing all the stuff to sell later. I do want to head home and plant these potato seeds tonight, though. Also, I'm out of inventory space, so let's get out of here. Oh, wait. Before we go, there's one more per person down here we could meet. Uh, he lives over here. Never mind. He is not here right now. We'll meet him later. Let's see, who else haven't we met yet? Well, we haven't actually met anyone, like, to the south of, uh, Pelican Village. Pelican Town, I should say. Uh, let's see, that's the way to the sewer. That's important, but not right now. Also, we just passed through the graveyard. Let's see, this is... I think this is Emily's house. Will and Lane, Emily and Haley, yep. This is Haley. She is also a bachelorette we can go after. Unfortunately, she's a bit stuck up. I don't really like Haley that much, so I'm not going to really focus on her. Honestly, I think I might go after Leia this, uh, during this playthrough. I went after Penny my first time through. We could also try going after a male bachelor. Only problem is, I'm not a huge fan of all the bachelors in this game. Hi, Jody. Jody lives here with her kids and her hu Actually, wait, I forget if she lives here with her husband. 
I don't think so. Nope. Alright, so that's pretty much everyone who lives in the main village. There are still people around the edges, but I think we'll meet them tomorrow because it is starting to get a bit late. Actually, around 7 p.m. is usually the best time to go to the bar. That's when most people are around. Let's go meet them. Uh, let's see. Actually, there's not a lot of people here right now. This is Pam. She is Penny's mom. She is also the town drunk. So yeah, it's kind of obvious what her favorite gift is. It's beer. This is Shane. He is not the town drunk, but I think he works at, jo at a Joja Mart. Why does Joja Mart close? 11 p.m. We could stop by over there and just take a look. But yeah, let's see. He is also a bachelor, I believe. Oh no, he isn't. Huh. I always believed he was a bachelor. Good to know Emily. I like Emily. She's not a bachelorette, though, so we can't marry her. Plus, I think she's Haley's mother, I believe? I don't think it's ever made clear what their relation is. Anyways, let's go to Joja Mart before we head home. It's right over the river. Uh, I might want to eat something before I start planting. This is Joja Mart. It's pretty much Walmart. We can buy stuff here. It's actually cheaper than uh, Pierre... Pierre's store, but, well, sometimes it's cheaper. Actually, no, that's more expensive. What am I talking about? I think the prices are actually randomized. Honestly, I never shop here because it's evil. Also, they're selling bricks for some reason. But yeah, this isn't an alternative if uh, Pierre's store is closed. Yeah, no. So yeah, we could join Joe DeMart. We will get to the community center later, but it costs 5,000 gold and I am not doing this, so no. That's actually an alternative way to quote unquote beat the main quest, is to do it through Joe DeMart instead of through uh, the rest of the valley. But we're not going to do that. Because they are kind of an evil evil corporation. And I would rather not join them. Anyways, time to head home. I want to get the stuff planted before bed, though. Also, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a longer episode than normal. Just because it's the first episode and just getting people used to everything. Plus, the introductions are always takes quite a while. You know what? I think I'll plan everything tomorrow. We should probably head to bed. It's going to cost me a day of uh, potatoes, but that's fine. And with that, we'll end the episode here. So, next time on Let's Play Stardew Valley, we're going to continue our farm life. So, till then.